Most directory plugins are either a pain to set up or cost way too much for what they offer. Today I am going to show you a free plugin that flips the script. It lets you build a full featured business directory or classify it at site without touching a single line of code. And yeah, it looks great right out of the box. It works with any team and comes with a crazy number of layout options. So let's dive in. The plugin I'm going to use today is called Listam Business Directory and Classified Ads Listings plugin. This one here. It's a free plugin. And as you see, currently it has more than 1000 active installation and mostly five star reviews. So to install it, I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard, add plugin. Let's search for Listam. Now I'm going to install it and activate it. Next, the setup wizard opens up. Let's start it. First, you can set the default location. Just add a default latitude and longitude. And then you can choose between OpenStreetMaps and Google Maps. The OpenStreetMap is available only as a pro add-on. Google Maps you can use for free. Just add your own Maps API key here and you're good to go. But you can also skip this part. Next, choose a date picker format. I'm going to choose this one. Time picker format is 12 or 24 hours. Currency position, I'm going to set to after. And default currency is euro. If you would like to add a Google recapture, then activate it, add your site key and secret key. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to continue. And next, I can select whether to import the dummy data. You can activate what data you would like to import. I'm going to import everything just to demonstrate all the Listam has to offer. So let's import it and done. Next it asks whether to install the list domer team. You can do that, but you can also use your own team. So I'm going to use my own teams. Therefore, I'm going to skip it and I'm going to return to the WordPress dashboard. All right, the plugin is installed. Now let's take a quick look at the main settings. This is where you'll fine tune how your directory works and what it shows. It's super flexible, but still easy to follow. Next, let's take a quick look at the settings. You'll see that under the general, there are basically the same settings. You can add your own address here. Some map module settings, price component settings. You can enable or disable price class or price description if needed. Social networks. Google Recaptcha and Block Editor integration. Under the Customizer, you can set the colors and fonts for all the elements, that is buttons, forms, listings, skin taxonomies, and front-end dashboard. Under the front-end dashboard, you can select the dashboard page. Just add this shortcode to your page. Let's do that. Let's go to the Pages, Add Page. Let's give it the title, Dashboard. Let's add the short code here, publish it. Let's see what happens. Well, this is my dashboard. Now, when I refresh the settings, I can select it here. You can add the dashboard menus here. But as you see, if you would like to do that, then you need a pro add-on. You also need a pro add-on if you need to enable guest submission. Under the fields, you can choose whether the fields are checkboxes or dropdowns for location features and galleries. And under the restrictions, you can select restriction for every module separately. Under the archives and slugs, you can customize the styles for archive pages. Next, under the users, you can customize the text here. Activate whether to hide the login or registration or whether to hide the forgot password. The same goes with all other modules here. You can customize the labels for logins, registration, forgot password area, profile and user directory. You can choose where to redirect logged in users after logging out and what is the account URL. And last one, you can block the admin access to these user roles here. Now, one thing I would like to point out is the profile and the user directory. Take a look if you add this short code to the page. For example, I have created a page called user profile added this short code here. After the publishing it, here's the site with a user profile. As you see, there is an option to send me a message. It displays all the listings I have created. 
and it also displays my contact information. So this way you can create user profiles. And if you would like to create users directory, then just copy this shortcode, paste it here, save it. And if you refresh it, you'll see here's the users directory. Okay, back to the settings and let's take a look at the single listing options. Under the single listing, you can choose your style, whether it's pre-made style. And if you choose a pre-made style, then you have four styles to choose from. If you choose design builder, then you'll see there is a design builder and you can choose what happens in different single listing blocks. There are three header area blocks you can choose a width and choose what to display here or there. For example, if I would like to display the contact information, then I choose the location. There are also three middle part columns and three footer columns. Now, just to demonstrate, take a look. Currently, I have selected pre-made styles sidebar. And this is the sidebar layout here. If I choose anything else, for example, slider header, let's refresh it. So you'll see this is a slider here with a couple of images. Next one is user directory. And this is a user directory layout. And last one, let's take a look at the basic layout. So let's refresh it. And there you go. This is a basic layout. But I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to choose pre-made styles, sidebar layout, because I like this one the most. Let's refresh it once again. And there you go. OK, back to the settings. And last one is under the advanced. You'll see you can optimize assets loading and you can add your own custom styles here. These were the settings. Next, I'll walk you through some of the other features and options that Listem offers. There's a lot under the hood uh, over there, from different views to user submissions and more. But before I do that, I do have a favor to ask you. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Next, let's take a look at the notifications. You can add your own notification. For example, if the listing status changed, you can choose what is the event type or the notification, add the content. And as you see, these are the placeholders you can use. Add the recipients and done. Next one is search and filter builder. You can customize your own filters. For example, if I take a look at my listings page, you'll see this is the filter here. It displays categories, locations, and labels, and it uses a default search. There is a text search, as you see, this one here. Categories, locations, and labels. If I want, I can add also tags, features, price classes, prices, and address to the filters. Adding elements to the filter is easy. Just add row. It appears down below here. Drag elements inside. Set the title, method, whether it's a dropdown, checkboxes, radio buttons, or text input. What happens with empty terms? Choose a drop-down style, optional placeholder, default value, and term method, whether to display all or only selected terms. If you would like to delete the row, then click twice and done. Let's update it, and we're finished with this filter. You can create all sorts of filters for different use cases. Next, let's take a look at the short codes. And what happens here is you can create your own layouts. For example, this one is a grid skin. It's a grid layout, as you see, it looks like this one here. But you can also create the list skin, carousel, and so on and so forth. To create your own skin, just add a new short code. Give it a title, for example, demo grid. Then choose the layout type, for example, grid or side by side or whatever it is. Next, choose the style, style four, for example. Choose the elements you would like to display. Map provider, let's disable it. Include categories, location, tags, features, labels, attributes, or authors. If you would like to include only specific categories, then choose them here, otherwise all will be displayed. On the left, you'll see the shortcode to use. Choose the search form, search form position, top, bottom, left, right, or before the listings. Sorting options. Next, you can reorder the elements here. 
title, date and so on. And when it's done, then just publish, grab the short code, add new page, for example, demo grid, add the short code, paste it here, publish. Let's take a look. And there it is. This is a layout we created with a couple of clicks. So these are the short codes here. Next, let's take a look at the listings. All the listings are displayed here. You'll see the address, category, location, labels, author and date. This is the dummy data I imported during the plugin installation. To add a new listing, just click on add new listing here or here. And if you do that, you'll see there is a block editor for the content. You can use the Google Maps to add your address, pricing options, working hours, contact details and gallery. Choose a category, set the featured image, choose a location, tag, add new features or labels. Now, as you see, categories, locations, tags, features and labels are here. To add a new category, just add the name, for example, demo, choose the icon, select the color, add new category, and it's here. The same happens with the locations, just add your own location. In a similar way, you can add tags and features. Last one is labels. Currently, there are four labels. And where are the labels displayed? As you see, must see, recommended, exclusive and recommended. Those are the labels that we created here. But if I open up the single listing, then those labels are added here. I can add also features in a similar way. Nothing complicated here. One last thing. If I go to the manage listing page, you'll see there is a add listing option. If I click on it, it gives me an option to publish my listings without the need to log into the dashboard. This way you can give your site users an access to the front end listing management. Once again, just add a title, description, excerpt, choose a location, category, and so on. Basically all the same stuff as before. Publish it and it will be displayed. Now currently I'm using the Bloxy team, but as you remember, during the plugin installation, the setup wizard offered us a listener team. It's a free team. This one here is made by the same company that created Listem. If you would like to see the demo, then go to the listem.net. There is a demo. Open it up and you'll see the Listem plugin and the listener team working together. You'll see all the listings. For example, let's take a look at the table view. Let's take a look at the demo one and done. So it's a free team. If you don't have a team, then just install and activate it and you're good to go. Now currently Listem also offers 33 paid add-ons. Those are the add-ons here. Elementor, DV, ads add-on, SMS, jobs add-on, APS, compare, franchise add-on, stats add-on, body press, ACF, that is advanced custom fields add-on, Auction add-on, multiple categories, advanced icon, booking add-on, reviews, labelize, team add-ons. If you need to add a claim option, then there is an add-on for it. You can purchase every add-on separately, but there is also a list of all pass plan available. You can choose for one sites, five sites or unlimited sites. Those are the current prices here. So, as you saw, setting up a business directory with the Listem plugin is really easy. You get a ton of customization options, over 80 different layouts, and it just works. It's an awesome plugin, and the fact that it's free makes it even better. Wait! If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.